Welcome to Sprattronics Learning Lab, Lego Engineering. We've got a fantastic build today. This is the first Lego League wind energy wind turbine. And we're going to start off by putting together our base. And so we'll put a couple gray beams down on the bottom. And as we build this, we want to make just a solid base for our windmill to stand. So we use a lot of gray beams for this. They go right across and a little bit of a struggle to put them down on this plate, but it's working out just fine. And a nice smooth plate along the back. This one just kind of ties things together fairly well. And a couple more gray beams as we build this base. We're trying to make this just large enough to hold our first sets of gears. This is going to be a hand cranked turbine. Oh, I seem to have forgotten a little two piece right here. And so my three piece, three by two is not lining up properly, but there we go. Found the piece that I needed and everything matches up just fine. This is what our gearbox is going to look like. We're only operating on one side of our plate right now but we will fill up this whole plate because we're gonna be generating some energy. So just laying out a few pieces and trying to figure out kind of how I wanna do this. Make a smooth piece in the back and finish out. Now we're working on the part of the build where this is gonna be the stand, where our energy units are gonna be released from our wind turbine. And the reason we release energy units from the wind turbine is to just demonstrate that a wind turbine is used for making energy. And so a couple rows of the four by one beams, and that's gonna be our base for a little ramp that goes up and down and pushes energy units right off. And just gonna to try to add a little bit of decoration here with a nice little flower. We are talking about a wind turbine, which is a fairly green energy, which is a good thing. That just means it's renewable. It never runs out. As long as the wind is blowing, energy is going to be created. And so now we're putting in the pieces, the Technic beams, and they've got the holes through the middle, and this is gonna allow some axles to go right through. So we'll start by putting one of the white pieces that has a Technic connector on one side and an axle on the other, and these white ones, they rotate really, really well. And now we put our big black gear on here, and this one has quite a few teeth on it. This is a big gear that's gonna move quite a bit, especially when you pair it with a smaller gear it'll allow our windmill to turn and look pretty cool. And we put an axle extender on that because we are going to attach it to the other side with another one of our Technic beams that have the holes right down the middle, which allows the axle to go right through it. And I put the beams in first and then take a very short, three long red beam to put it through, give it a quick spin test. That works perfect. And I don't want it to fall out the other side. And so I'm gonna put, ooh, where is it? just a little clamp on this side. And what we're doing is creating a mechanism that is going to rotate and spin around and it's gonna force our ramp to bounce up and down every time the gear spins all the way around. There we go, closing that off. You wanna put that in the down position and it's gonna make a later step a little bit easier. And so now it's time for us to start building our <coughs> ramp that's going to allow the energy units to flow right off our wind turbine, demonstrating that we are creating energy. So we've got a beam and then we are attaching, I don't even know what those pieces are called. They're little, they're green, an arm piece. I don't know. I'll need to look that up. But this is going to go on the front side of it where we're going to put our hand crank. And we'll set that right on our gearbox and we're going to put a little hand crank on it so that it's easy for our hands to turn it to demonstrate the way the windmill spins to generate energy. All right, it turns really smoothly. We've got a little red piece and that one actually spins on there so that it doesn't slide through your fingers. The red piece spins around on the Technic connector piece and that, that seems good. I'm ready to attach it. And it interlocks with our other gear teeth and whenever we spin it, we can see that little arm on the side goes up and down. So now we're ready to add on to our gearbox base. And above this is where we're gonna build the windmill, but that's gonna come later on. So we attach these four, these six long beams, they're blue. And then we wanna give this some nice form factors. So we'll put some sloping white pieces on 
And this just makes a nice aesthetic, makes it look like an official Lego build. And this is our base. And in the back, we'll put a couple of those Technic two beams with the single hole in the middle. And then a few pieces right across the top to connect them and hold everything into place. And then we need to reinforce that hole in the middle. So we're gonna put a couple of these circle plates that have a hole in the middle, and that's gonna let us attach a couple of black Technic connector pieces so that when we build our upright part of the windmill, it can snap right in and hold in place. And we don't have to worry about connecting it with Lego peg pieces. All right, everything still seems to be spinning just fine. What we're building right now is laying out the pieces for our ramp that's going to turn up and down. And so we've got one of those little, I call them axle plates, but you can put a beam on or a plate on top of them and it'll rotate around a little bit. And so we build it off of the base so that we can attach everything together and we want to make it solid. So we connect it with these blue pieces and is it going to fit? Oh, it fits just fine. And does the axle plate rotate a little bit? It sure does. We need one more four long beam over here. And I see that my plate is still able to go up and down. I see that my little arm in the back is in the upright position and that's gonna cause me some trouble if I don't remember to put it down. What we're building right now is a ramp and this ramp is going to be where our energy units are stored and then they're going to flow right down. I like the colors of this. I like the blue, I like the white and the green. It's a pretty simple color scheme, but it does match up with our super powered first Lego League project mat that we have going on. All right, and then I need just a couple more beams along the side of this in order to hold our energy units in. We've got a nice ramp where they will just roll right down. And once they roll down, then they get onto our plank that moves, allowing us to release energy from our windmill. And so, oh, oh, come on. Just trying to get this on top of that little piece. Oh, I've attached it already. I've got to take it off. It's not, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't make it fit over the part that pushes it up. There we go. Now it's in the down position. Now I can clamp the plate on and now that's gonna rotate up and down, ready to go. Now let's make this a nice smooth surface so that our energy units, whenever they hit onto it, they will just slide right down. Oh, I love this little cone that we're adding. This is gonna be something that just knocks our energy units right off of our windmill build. And so as we turn, if this goes up and down, this works just fine, excellent. I'm super happy with how the base of our wind turbine is coming together. This is gonna be a fantastic wind turbine and it's gonna really demonstrate that as the turbine turns, energy is gonna fall right off of it. We need a little backstop so that our energy units fall the direction we want them to fall. We don't want them to fall off the back of our build, but rather go straight out the side of it. So now it's time for us to build our uprights so that we can have a tall windmill. And so we are putting down a little plate and then putting two Technic white beams right on top. Actually, I'm just gonna use one for the back side, for that very top, or the base of it, and then these two long ones. There we go. Now we're gonna be nice and tall. And that base Technic piece is gonna fit just fine on top of our gearbox. So now we're ready to start assembling our windmill upright. Oh, falling apart. Okay. We're going to need to strengthen this up. We're going to need to put a few pieces together to hold these together because these are just falling apart way too easy. But before we start attaching them, let's get this gear on with this three peg long yellow axle. And that's going to spin just fine and it's going to fit in with our black gear at the very bottom of our gearbox. And whenever that spins, it's going to turn the direction of the spinning to go up into our windmill. We'll extend this out a little bit with another axle extender and an axle. There we go, that looks pretty good. That's right in the middle as it spins, the whole thing spins. It's probably time to start 
holding things together. There we go, a little two beam piece with a hole inside it. That's gonna help guide our axle to continue going up to the top. And another gear to change the direction again. This is a really cool build in the number of times that we change direction of the gear motion. So we start by cranking it sideways. It makes a turn and then we shift it again to go straight up and then we shift it again for our windmill blades to turn. So we will attach up at the top another gearbox and another turn. And this is gonna be what we attach our windmill blades to. And those windmill blades are gonna be what catch the wind. And as they spin, it's gonna be generating energy for us. And so we'll put a couple of little four long Technic pieces, put an axle in there, and everything is spinning really well. And we'll put a spacer in there, and this looks good. We've got three gears, several axles going up. It's time to reinforce everything now. I think that this is gonna work just fine. And so we'll add some orange to it, make it stand out, make sure that low-flying aircraft um, can see our windmill and avoid hitting it. <clears throat> we'll put a, another plate on the bottom to hold everything together so that whenever we do, oh no, there goes an energy unit in the background, so that whenever we attach this to the windmill, the beams stay together. And so which way is, should this go? Perfect. This will be the front side that we look at. It's got the handle, the hand crank. All of our gears are interlocking right now. The teeth of those gears go together just fine. It's time for the finishing touches. Let's make our turbine arms or blades. Oh, I'm putting this one on backwards. I need to flip this around. There we go. Now I know what I'm doing. Okay. The thick side goes on the end. The thin side is on the outside, just like a real wind turbine. And we're just attaching these to an airplane propeller. And we need some reflective red all around the outside. That's gonna make sure that our windmill is visible even whenever it's spinning so that hang gliders, hot air balloons, low-flying aircraft, crop dusters can avoid it. Let's attach to this to the top. Oh, this is fantastic. As we spin it, all of our gears move. Our energy unit ramp goes up and down. And let's just tie this together with a nice orange nose cone. And the way that a wind turbine works is there's a big magnet wrapped in wires inside of this wind turbine. And as the wind blows, the blades spin and they are spinning spinning that giant magnet inside of the coil of wires. And as that magnet spins in there, it's generating electricity. And we're representing the electricity being generated with these little white and green energy units. And they just fell off the direction we wanted. This is perfect. I can't wait to see you build a windmill with this. I wonder if you could use a Lego robotics kit and build a windmill that instead of using hand energy can use maybe some battery power in order to do this, but this windmill is a great representation of a way that we capture energy. We capture energy by using our natural resources and pulling energy from it. And then that energy can travel through wires and it can go to power your home, it could go power your schools, it could go power just about anything, or it could be stored. There could be a big battery facility and the electricity from this windmill goes and is stored in the battery facility. All right, here's some actual windmills all across the United States. I, thanks for joining us for this build. Have a great rest of your day. And just a couple questions to leave you with. Um, what, how do you use energy? What do you do that uses energy at home? Is it turning on your lights? Is it watching television? What are some other ways that you use energy? And if you really wanted to know more about this and a really cool job, Look at what a wind engineer does. And that might be somebody who climbs really high up, uses a lot of safety equipment, who enjoys heights, um, that can explore wind energy and wind turbines. Thanks a lot, have a great day.